purpose of this video is to troubleshoot, to teach you how to troubleshoot a differential pressure or vacuum switch. A lot of our systems use some, something similar to these Dwyer switches. There's explosion proof ones, non explosion proof ones um, that can be wired intrinsically safe, but these are the two types you'll mainly see. I've taken the cover off of this one so we can get to the ports and to the wire connections. This switch has a common, normally open, and normally closed. We want to make sure that we disconnect all the wires going to the control panel because all we want to do is test whether this switch itself is working. And we want to isolate it from the control panel where there can be closed circuits that would not really let us know. So it's important to disconnect this completely from the system, have the system off so that it's in a normally open position. There's no you know, load being applied to this. The first thing we want to do is just check that the switch is kind of good by going to, from common to normally open and our meter shouldn't buzz, which it doesn't. Then we can check normally closed and it should buzz, which it does. So that passes the first test. Now let's test this switch. It's, it's, uh, we'll test its, its, we'll test its low pressure which would be if it was a vacuum switch. So here it is with no load on it. When we connect to common and normally open, there's nothing. When we put a little bit of vacuum on the low pressure port, it should close. When we release it, it should open. We can check also the normally closed where it'll be buzzing, closed circuit. We put a vacuum on the low pressure port. It opens, we release, it closes. So we know that the low pressure side or the vacuum side of this switch is good. Let's test the high pressure side where we hook to the high pressure port. Common, normally open, nothing. We put a pressure on the tube. That closes it. We release the pressure, it opens. We can also check the normally closed. Put pressure on it. release, it's good. These switches can be a little bit confusing because we have to know what we have in terms of are we using it for a pressure switch, in which case we'd be hooked to the high pressure port, or to a vac is it being used as a vacuum switch where we'd be hooked to the vacuum port the, or the low pressure port. The low pressure port is vacuum, high pressure port is pressure. We also need to know if it's being used as a normally open or normally closed switch. Once we know that, we can test this switch. What I like to do is just go through what we just did, though, is test all functions of this switch and make sure it's working. But it is important to know whether it's a vacuum switch, a pressure switch, normally open, normally closed.